Hello my friends, it's Caddy. I'm back with another layout for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. This week I'm going to begin with a stencil. This is just a white piece of cardstock from American Crafts and then this is a stencil by Dilutions and it is called Staggered Brickwork. So I'm just going to kind of adhere it down to my page with some washi tape and I will take some scraps of paper and I will just uh, kind of mask off the stencil area. So that I don't get any miss because I am going to miss um, anywhere else on the page just you know in that area where the stencil is. So I'm going to pull out my Dilutions Mist and I'm going to use several colors here. First one here is the yellow which is the um, lemon zest. Then the green one is uh, the light green one is the fresh lime. The dark green one is the cut grass. Then I'm going to take the London Blue, uh, the Cancel Teal, and the Vibrant Turquoise. So just very uh, masculine colors. Reason being is I am scrapbooking a picture of my niece, my older niece, but she is holding her new puppy, which is um, a French Bulldog, and she named him Panda. So I uh, wanted to create sort of a masculine kind of um, layout. So it's like a fun doesn't have to be masculine I mean you can use these colors for girls too it's not really a big deal so um, but I just wanted to create something fun with these colors so um, I am just taking some of my shimmers now these are the shimmers dazzlers that I get from the store from the Spico mom scraps store uh, the yellow one is uh, called lemon drop the green one is sour apple and then I'm going to use the blue one which is the see you in the morning and these are the uh, shimmery texture paste from the shop so they're awesome and um, I'm gonna actually do the same thing on the top right hand corner but I'm gonna wait for this to dry so uh, while I wait for it to dry I'm actually gonna take some of these sequins which are also from the shop uh, these are the believe in you sequins and I'm gonna take the blue ones and I'm gonna actually just place them directly onto the shimmers so that they kind of dry with the paste so that you don't really need to add adhesive to them they will dry with that paste um, uh, when you put them in there if it's while it's still wet of course uh, then I'm going to take some of these little mini clothespins which are also from the shop um, and I'm going to take them and I'm going to paint them with some mist so I just sprayed them in some London blue also from Dilutions and I'm just kind of getting a nice coat of color on them um, and I will put those aside to dry so we'll go ahead and uh, just set those aside then uh, I'm gonna bring my layout back and I'm just gonna dry everything um, I'm just trying to get everything really nice the the dazzlers do take a little bit longer to dry so it does take a while and then I did add the top one and then I dried that so um, it just took a little bit of, a, of some time <laughs> some patience with this so I also took the stencil and I added it to the edges of the page on the top right and bottom left as you can see there in the um, lemon zest fresh lime and then I believe I use the uh, Camsel teal so I'm taking some string just regular sewing string and I have a couple colors of this in my stash so I just took some coordinating colors and I just kind of bunched them up um, and I'm gonna place them over my photo and I'm gonna kind of drape it like a like a banner sort of over my photo and you'll see that in a little bit and then I did place it just in the little uh, uh, clothespins so the clothespins are kind of just holding the little banner up top. So uh, I don't know. That was just a thought that I had. And I like how it turned out. It's different. So I really like it. Um, then I take that glassine bag, which is the diagonal striped bag that you see there from the shop. And I did just use that to back map my photo. And I'm taking a couple papers here from the Kaiser Craft Finders Keepers paper pad, which is also available in the shop. Um, and I'm just taking a couple of papers to add some layers behind my photo. Um, so it's just going to be two papers. Um, that polka dot and another um, just uh, the other one I think just has lines on it so um, it's just to add some more uh, dimension to my photo make my photo pop a bit more um, off of that busy background so um, I'm going to use some glue dots to adhere down the little clothespins and you'll see how I kind of drape my little um, string bunches <laughs> I guess <laughs> I don't know what to call them but uh, my um, little string uh, there so I will drape that again you'll see that in a minute so there are a couple things I do off camera which you won't see me um, add so I take some embellishments that I have um, and I have them separated just because I've got those 
in or I've received those in pocket letters so I really couldn't tell you where they're from so I have a black chipboard tag which is black with white polka dots and um, I did get that in a pocket letter so I do add that to the left of the photo um, like on top and the bottom so I cut it to make it look like it's a really long tag and I add one piece to the top of the photo one piece to the bottom I also have a little dog which is a Dalmatian which I got in a pocket letter as well and I want to say that's from a crepe paper line so um, I think that's crepe paper and it's a Dalmatian I just cut it in half and made it look like it's kind of stretching across the photo sorry if you can hear my kitties in the background <laughs> I have new baby kitties so you might be able to hear them in the background squealing away um, so I take uh, some washi tape here um, and I do add that to the edges I will take some other blue washi tape and add that to the top and bottom and you'll see that in a minute um, so yeah so I'm just messing around here with my uh, string and just kind of trying to get it in a way that I like it because <laughs> I kind of had this thought but I, I didn't really think it out you know too well so um, yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add some splatters um, this is the London blue and then I'll also add some black splatters uh, with black India ink so I will add that as well um, which I think always um, kind of finishes off a layout really nicely when you add black splatters so I will add those um, in there as well so yeah so I just covered up my photo so that I wouldn't get any of the splatters on my photo so um, at this point what am I gonna do here I'm gonna take the blue washi tape now so it's just blue washi tape and this is something I see a uh, Missy Wynn do all the time she takes her washi tape and then she kind of rips it up and adds it to her layout um, and I think it adds a really nice fun uh, touch to the layout so um, I added that and it's kind of missing something up there at the left if you can see it's it's kind of missing something so I think the washi tape is a nice addition and it's something really simple and just adds some texture up there and some interest up there so it's really nice so here's where I decide that I kind of want to drape my little um, my little string bunches so that's what I'm doing there I'm just kind of draping them and then I'm gonna stick down my my little um, clothespins so just fun 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 so this layout was definitely a lot of fun to create um, just a lot of fun um, textures and, and colors and I really like it and really I mean this was inspired by um, I guess you could say it was inspired by our mood but I I don't know if you guys are subscribers of my channel I hope you are and I hope you'll subscribe if you're not but um, I do a series with my friend Evie it's a pretty pattern paper playground and then we have a mood board this month which is very citrusy um, and kind of I'm, I'm kind of you know in that sort of mindset just to use that mood board this month so that's maybe that's kind of where this came from except I just added some of the blue in there because I thought it was a nice compliment <laughs> but um but yeah it's definitely um, something that I'm, I've been following this month and I'm really enjoying it so it's been fun so here I go adding those black splatters with some India ink and I'm gonna add those there <clears throat> what else am I doing here oh I'm gonna work on my title now so I kind of went through a few uh, thickers trying to decide what I wanted to use I thought about using black thickers but in the end, I'm going to use those thickers, which are Heidi Swap. And they're the perfect blue color. They match that London blue really well. So I just write out the puppy's name, which is Panda. And those are like glitter foam thickers. And they're smaller than regular thickers, so they're really cute. Then I bring in that flare badge, which is from Freckled Fawn, and it says Make It Awesome. I did also add some paper clips on my photo. Um, a blue one and a green one and those paper clips are from uh, Ikea I got those at Ikea a while ago so I used a couple of those as well those worked out really nicely so I'm just kind of trying to see what else I want to add here I pull a couple of these stars these are cork stars which are from the shop from Speak on Mom's Craft Shop and um, I do pull those so uh, definitely if you guys are interested in any of these products um, I will have a link to the site below you can check out my blog post because all the products are going to be listed there and if you want to make a purchase at the shop just use code caddy15 you get 15% off your purchase so it's a really nice discount so that is it here are some still shots for you guys you can see the little details that I mentioned that I added off camera 
Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Check out the shop. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye-bye.